All right. I feel terrible this morning. I think it's because for dinner I had Starbucks fudge and nothing else. And uh, so that's probably not a good thing, is it? My windshield wipers are on. There's morning dew. There's a lot of morning dew. There's a guy, sorry, a lady running with her dog right in front of me, right in front of the car. Very useful. I wish she would stay on the uh, path, but she can't because she's trying to avoid the other people who are on the path. And she's not wearing a mask. She's not wearing a goddamn mask. Son of a bitch. What is this world coming to? All right, it is the Monday before Thanksgiving 2020. Recording this in case uh, uh, human civilization crumbles and the cockroaches evolve to become the next dominant species and they're trying to figure out how do the humans destroy themselves well uh we ate a bat and we elected donald trump president (laughs) it was really a combination of those two things who we voted for and eating bats that's what did it my friends that is what did it I am, uh, yeah, I don't know, not, not having a good digestion day. When do I ever have a good digestion day? I'm also, I think, I just, I have this knot of tension in my stomach. I feel very scared. I think I'm, they're saying they're going to do another stay-at-home order, so I'm feeling very apprehensive about that. I don't know why. I wonder if I'm picking up on the collective frustration of the city, of the state, of the country, of the world. It doesn't seem like people are staying at home to me. It seems like people are out and about. Could explain why there's a spike in a highly transmissible virus. Transmittable. There we go. Transmissible. I don't know what that is. I don't even know if that's a word. Transmittable. It's a highly transmittable virus. And did you know that when you have a virus that's easily transmittable and you're around other people, it, it, uh, uh, it's easily transmittable? Did you know that? I didn't know that until this year, apparently. <laughs> hey, did you know that when a bunch of scientists say... Uh, that if we don't take certain precautions, this virus will spread and cause widespread damage. Did you know that when they say that, they're actually right? Did you know that? I didn't know that. Why didn't someone tell me that? Why didn't the science teachers in science class teach me to listen to scientists? That should be, maybe that's what we need to do. Instead of trying to teach kids science the only lesson they need to teach kids in science class public school private school is listen to the scientists that should when they take the AP AP physics should have one question true or false I should listen to scientists true congratulations you get a five on the AP test I did not listen in the beginning. I thought I was I was grouped with the people who thought, "Oh, well, the pandemic it'll ah, coronavirus it's like the flu. It's no big deal." Nope. Incorrect. Did not listen to the scientists on this and we are paying the price. But hopefully there's good news, right? All these vaccines are 90% effective, so so hopefully once we uh, get the va- roll out the vaccine, that'll be the end of this until the next catastrophe, whatever that is. Or it might not be a global catastrophe, it might be just a personal catastrophe. 
a personal horror story that we go through, that I go through. It could very well be that. Can I confess something? I don't mean to be crass. I'm about to get a little crass. I I pleasured myself last night. I dithered myself. Is that the... (laughs) I took a train to Pleasure Island. You can't take a train to an island unless you build a bridge and put the tracks on the bridge. And that's my on my Pleasure Island, that's I take the train to my Pleasure Island. I built a bridge with tracks to my Pleasure Island. I took I took a trip there. And uh, when I was finished, I wasn't finished. Does that make sense? I I climaxed and I I could have I could have kept going, which usually lately it's been, you know, I could barely even climax. But this one was almost like, ah, they could go for another round here. I'm like, where, where is this spry young gentleman come from? Where's this energy coming from? Maybe it was the fudge. Maybe it was the Starbucks fudge. I don't entirely know. I'll tell you what I do know. It's cloudy out, and that doesn't help depression. That doesn't help the depression at all. You know what does help depression? To sing. That's doesn't it doesn't help depression to sing. Ah, uh, that was a great street. I never noticed the name of that street before. Satsuma Avenue. That's a great name for an avenue. Where was he murdered? The cut the corner of Magnolia and Satsuma. There's drama in that name. Satsuma. Probably named after someone important. And me, by just talking about the name without knowing the context, I'm sure I'm being demeaning to the real Satsuma. Who will protect us? Satsuma. That's who. Unlike Kawanga. Kawanga. I'd follow Setsuma into battle. I would not follow Kawanga into battle. Kawanga. You, Kawanga takes you to a bar that only Kawanga knows about. Where it's, uh, you know, $2 cervezas and you have a good time. That's what Kawanga does. Setsuma. Setsuma knows how to kill a man with just his pinky finger. And then there's Valley Street, and that's really just not, there's no story there. That's just, we're in, the, we're in a valley. We're going to call the street Valley Street. Because we need to call it something. Can we call it Setsuma? No! That's already been taken. Call it Valley. Oh, how about Coenga? That's been taken too. All right, all right. Call it Valley Street. Fine. Fine, we'll call it Valley Street. So be it, my friends. So be it. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to I, I guess there's logic to closing down the businesses when it's spiking. I know I just at the beginning was like, oh no, we didn't listen to scientists. But by the same token, it seems like even when we close down the businesses, it's still spiking. No matter what we do, it's spiking. I think it's... I think it might just be here. I think it's... I think it might just be out of control, if I had to guess. Hate to say it. Sorry to say it. I think it's out of control. The Los Angeles Department of Public Health can't figure out why it continues to spread. Because people are having sex, that's why. That's what that's, that can only be what that means. <laughs> Notice, they've shut down the businesses, they have not shut down Tinder. 
But that has not happened. So uh, people are continuing to cohabitate and co-mingle. Cohabitate's not the right word. That's when they live together. Yeah, they have not shut down Tinder or any of the dating apps, have they? If they shut that, if they shut that down, then the virus would stop sp- spreading. But Tinder continues. And when you shut down all the businesses, all that's left is Tinder. You know, if I really wanted to, I could probably get laid. Like there's no, (laughs) there's nothing else for people to do when they close everything down. There's nothing, they're like, ah, well, there's Josh. Ah, God, really? There's nothing else. Even the nail salons are closed. All right. All right, I guess. I guess I'll spend... I guess I'll dither Josh. This is getting... This is a podcast that's turning scandalous. (laughs) Even when there was nothing else to do but have sex... I will find a way to not have sex. That is my gift. That is my gift to the world. (laughs) What was Joshua's gift during the pandemic? He gracefully bowed out. He did not put himself out there. There's enough disappointment. I don't need to add to it. Beachwood Street. That's a street. That's the name of the street. It's no Setsuma. Beachwood. Because you know what's memorable? Wood on a beach. You know what needs to be commemorated? Wood on a beach. I wonder if it if it's meant to imply a forest near the ocean. Beachwood. It feels almost kind of Irishy a little bit. I was chasing the leprechaun through the beechwood. That was a terrible I- a- Irish accent, but at the very least, I think one could identify it as an attempt at an Irish accent. I'm not saying it's good, okay? I'm not trying to say that it's a good accent. I'm just saying, hi, me hearty. Kiss the Blarney Stone. I gotta deal with this guy riding his bike uphill. In the right lane. Perfect. Perfect. Bicycles have the right of way, Josh. Get used to it. Deal with it. Now the bike's gonna pass me, and I feel awkward because I passed the bike. And now I'm worried the bike is going to judge me. Not the bike itself, the bicyclist. Though, we're fast coming upon times when there will be smart bikes. Bikes that will have computers. Intelligent computers. Probably talking bikes. It'll be like... It'll be like Knight Rider, but much lamer. (laughs) Night Biker. Oh, please, let's make that show. I'm sure someone has already made a parody. Night Biker! The crime-fighting bicycle. Ah, please. Can we please make it? I want to see Night Biker. Well, I was here in 14 minutes, so I guess that... As opposed to 18. Uh, So that tells me we are on lockdown. 